Good morning, everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills, and I've just come back from the garden, so I've not cleaned myself up yet, and I've decided that I want to make myself a little bit of uh, food before I do that, and then I'll get cleaned up and go out and do a little bit of shopping. Uh, we had uh, Victoria Day here yesterday, so everything was shut down. And although I needed a few things, we managed to do without for a day or two. And that's fine. You can always do without for a day or two. So, um, at the garden, uh, the gang's all there. Like all the regulars are finally starting to show up. The weather's getting warmer. And, uh, you know, normally uh, the crowd is there early like I was, but it's been a very cold start to this spring, so uh, people have been avoiding it, but today they were quite a few, and I think over the weekend there were more, but I was not feeling too well and just couldn't be bothered. I, I uh, decided to have some of Mark's chicken soup that he made for me, and uh, <laughs> I know he thinks it's a cure-all, but uh, um, who knows, maybe he's right. You know, he brought this cold home and he only had it for two days and I've had it a little bit longer than that. It is finally subsiding, but uh, it wasn't pleasant. Mind you, I don't get colds that often. I think the last time was almost a year ago. Spring colds. They seem to be either in the dead of winter or a spring cold. Anyway, I did plant my sweet potatoes and uh, met up with uh, one lady that we always sit around and chat for a while and uh, hadn't seen her, was a little bit concerned about her, but no, she was there today, so we chatted and I told her that I planted sweet potatoes and she said, oh, so-and-so up. Mm -hmm. Somebody else in the, in the allotment gardens had planted sweet potatoes one year and he got absolutely nothing. And I said, yeah, I understand that it is uh, heat dependent and uh, a length of time matters. So um, I'm trying it anyway. I might not have any success, but we're going to try it anyway. Oh, and yesterday I did bake some bread. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how I slice my bread. Um, I've gotten a little bit more proficient at it considering that I've been doing it for a while now. I mean, at first it just seems like you can't get clean slices, but with a little bit of practice and the, a good serrated knife, or even a mediocre serrated knife, you can do a good job of it. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so yesterday I did bake some more bread. Um, I do, at this point, uh, uh, make my soft bread loaves. I, we prefer those now. And uh, I, I do double up my recipe and I make three, you know, I split it into three loaves as opposed to two because it does, it comes up a fair size. So to get uh, a nice size slice of bread, I find that I double the recipe, split it into three pans, get three loaves and they're perfect. Now, one of my uh, subscribers that has uh, tried this recipe, what she did is that she did the single and then she made buns out of the little extra, which is also a good way to go. So I might try that next time too, but I find that we go through one loaf of bread fairly quickly, so I don't mind doing three. Now, I have bought a proper bread knife quite a while back and I don't like it. So I have a whole bunch of older serrated knives. I can show you all different sizes, the uh, larger ones, the smaller ones. Now, this one seems to be, now I've had these for a long time, and this one seems to be the sharpest of them. And it's a finer serrated edge than what you have here. I find that this tends to chop up the bread a bit too much. It might be better for some loaves, I just don't like it. So, what I do to slice up my bread is I, I do freeze it, get it a little bit on the firm side, and then I turn it on its side and slice away. And this way I'm able to get 
fairly even slices. Now this is still a bit too cold perhaps. Now you can refreeze bread. I've done that all the time. But normally what I do is I just take out as many slices as I'm going to use and keep the rest in the freezer and that way my bread is always fresh. It's never stale. Now this is a bit of a chore but after a while you start to get the hang of it and you can do fairly even slices. It, it took me a while though, admittedly. Try not to use force, just slow and gentle. And you can make this as thick or as thin slices as what you like, but I try to make them pretty much consistent with the ones that you buy in the store. That's what we're all pretty much accustomed to anyway. So It doesn't take long before we go through the whole loaf. Now you could also use an electric knife. I have one of those and I also didn't have much success with that. So use what works for you um, and I'll admit that when I first started doing this my slices were not as even as they are now and it, it does take a bit of practice. <sighs> Of course the last one is where I go wonky if I try to do it any thinner, but I'm not going to bother. So that is good enough. So there is loaf number two all sliced up. Now it isn't perfect, but it's close enough for hand slicing. It's a great job actually, if I do say so myself. Now because I do keep these in the freezer, and I don't want a lot of freezer burn. I of course wrap it up fairly well with saran wrap a number of times. I don't have bread bags but if I can get this nice and snug and I do a couple of layers it has the same effect. So just want to keep the freezer burn off it. Okay, so this one's ready to go in the freezer until I want a few slices. Okay, I've repositioned the uh, camera to see if we can get a better angle here. So, first slice. And if it starts to go wonky on you, you try to correct it as soon as possible. <laughs> and I would tell you that this is probably what I hate the worst about making my bread is slicing it and um, yeah if there was a better way an easier way if I could get a bread slicing machine that did a nice job at a reasonable price I would consider it but from what I've seen this costs me nothing and I'm beginning to be able to do a fairly decent job of it.
Yeah, that one went a bit thin. Yeah, just one bad one there. There we go. And once again, reasonable slices. And yes, I do a double wrap of saran wrap on this. Okay, now my bread is ready to go back in the freezer and I pull it out when I want a slice or two. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Hope you enjoyed this video and we will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.